I can sense you, human. You can come out of hiding. My senses are keen enough to sense the subtle vibrations of your every footstep. Or to hear your every breath. Look, human, it's the polite thing to do to at least knock. Not barge into someone's home like this. You wouldn't want to offend me. Especially when I'm a dragon who's lived more than centuries than you can even comprehend. Who has brought down more armies than you can even count. Even in my human-like form, I can level castles. <laughs> there we go, human. Finally stepping out into the open now, are we? I have to say, I'm pleasantly surprised. You didn't take a single coin from my hoard. Usually intruders fill their pockets to the brim as soon as they can. <laughs> it makes them super easy to hear when they clink with all that gold like that. Clink, clink, clink. Though, it's been a few millennia since there was a person foolish enough to intrude upon my lair. It's truly surprising that you were brave enough to come here. And... Of course, the other pleasant surprise is that I was not expecting you to be so cute. For a human, anyway. <sighs> Dragons don't give compliments lightly, especially me. Bask in the honour, human. Well, aren't you going to run away? That's what everyone else does at this point. Not that they get away. My flames can reach farther than you can even see, human. You're still here. You seem awfully calm. You're not sweating. Your breathing is stable. Are you really not afraid of me? That's a first. I don't think I've ever met a creature that wasn't afraid to death of me. Even the other dragons don't dare come near me. It's something of a source of pride for me. Not that I have any shortage of those, but still... It has its downsides too. I've got all this treasure to keep me company. Mountains and mountains of it. But still, it gets lonely without any actual company. I can't remember the last time I had a conversation. <laughs> Talking to you like this is actually quite thrilling. It's been a long time, and it shames me to say it, but... I've been a bit desperate lately. Recently, I've even taken to talking to the skeletons that decorate my lair. <laughs> They're the fools that came before you. The ones who fancied themselves adventurers. How pretentious. They all acted brave and then they tried to run at the first sight of danger. Not like you, though. You are rather special. You're the first one to stay with me. I do like it when you stay with me, but... Human, why? Why aren't you afraid of me? You... like dragons? <laughs> well, I think that has to be a bit of an understatement. You must really, really, really love dragons if you're not running away from the strongest and scariest one out there. But you know what, human? It's your lucky day. Because I like you too. So much, in fact, that I think... Yes. I think I'll keep you. Yes. Yes! I can see it now. I think you'll make a wonderful addition to my hoard of treasure. You truly are precious, and precious things go in my hoard. You can be the crown jewel. The only treasure that can talk to me. The only treasure that can keep me company. Even when all the gold and jewels in the world couldn't. You're not fit to be another skeleton decorating my lair. No, you're far too good for that. You helped a dragon, after all. That's a great honour, you know. I'll just give you a second or two to process the glory. Now come here. I'll allow you to snuggle under my wing, but 
Not that you have a choice. It's more like an order. But still, I'll allow you the privilege. There we go. I hope it's cosy for you under there. You just feel so right under my wing. It's like you were made to snuggle with me. It's been so long since I felt the touch of another creature. I forgot what it felt like. How nice it felt. Maybe I never even knew. It's been centuries. And even a dragon as spectacular and perfect as I, well, my memories get foggy after a point. Human. You've shown me just how much I've been missing. But now that I have you, I'm never, ever letting you go. It's funny, when you have mountains of gold like this, getting more never makes a difference. If I got another mountain of gold tomorrow, what would it matter? What's another mountain when you already have hundreds? What I'm trying to say is, I can't remember the last time I felt like my wealth had grown. But now that I have you, my treasure, I finally feel like my wealth has grown beyond measure. In fact, I could say I'm growing warm, fuzzy feelings towards you, human. In fact, yes. I love you, human. And I need you. It shames me to say it, but I need you. It hurts me to say it, when I am in likelihood the strongest being that has ever existed. I need you. It makes me ashamed that I am dependent on a tiny little human like you. I hope that you'll keep it as our little secret. Not that you'll ever be able to tell anyone anyway. Because like I said, tiny human, I'm never letting you go. I'm keeping you forever and ever. You're precious. You're so very, very, very precious. I can't even begin to express how precious you are. I love you. You gleam brighter than all this gold. I love you. I need you. Dragons don't get drunk, but the sight of you is making me tipsy. And taking a closer look of you makes me realise just how delicate you are. So fragile. I worry that if I so much sneeze in your direction that you'll break. You're as frail as you are, human. And that only makes you all the more cherished to me. It makes me want to protect you even more. It makes me want to keep you safe and snug under my wing. Where nothing bad can get you. Where nothing can harm you where nothing can take you away from me. I do hope it's warm enough for you under there, under my wing. I know it can get cold in my lair at times, but you'll be safe and warm as long as you cling to me. So cling to me, sweetheart. Cling to me and I'll keep you safe and secure. You won't have to worry about anything. Ever. You don't even have to do anything. Nothing at all. All you have to do is talk to me. Listen to me. Keep me company. And look deeply into my eyes when I look into yours. So that I know that I'm the only one you want to belong to because I'm the only one you will ever, ever belong to. <sighs> you know, human, I have never done this before. 
I don't know if any dragon has, but if you'd like, I would be willing to part of a couple, a few pieces of my gold. Dragons never willingly part with their gold, especially one as mighty and as wealthy as me. So, human, this is a very, very big deal. So I do hope that you'll appreciate the gesture. I know you don't have much use for it, since you'll never be leaving this place. And even if I give you some gold, well, it's just going to be staying in this lair like it was before. So there really isn't much of a difference. But still, it's just... I want to do something for you. I really do love you, human. You're precious. You're so precious. And I just want you to understand that. I just want you to understand that you're my beloved sweetheart. My precious. My treasure. I just want to show you how much you mean to me. How much I need you. I don't know humans very well. I never tried to understand them. To me, they were just the fools that I burned to death when they came to steal my gold. But I want to understand you. I want to know everything about you. I want to know what makes you tick. I want to know what you like what you don't like, what it is you like about dragons, what is it you like about me? Is it my wings? Should I stretch them out for you to see, so that you can get a better look at them? Is it my towering size? Should I stand up so you can see how truly massive I am? I just love you, darling human. And I just want to treat you as sweetly as you deserve to be treated. I love you. I love you. I love you more than all the gold here. Oh, human, I can't get you out of my head. I know we just met, but my love for you feels like it was developed over thousands and thousands of years. In a way, it has hasn't it? You're killing the loneliness that I've been suffering with. You're killing the one thing that I thought I could never lay a claw on. Huh. Maybe you're not as frail as I thought. You must be even more precious than I thought. Huh. But you must be tired, my sweetheart. At the very least, I know the journey to my lair is a treacherous one. For humans, anyway. You must be so tired. So weak. So get some rest. You can rest easy since I'm here. I'll keep watch over you. I'll protect you from everything. Just stay under my wing. I'll keep you warm. I'll keep you safe. I won't let anything harm you. I won't let anything bother you. Oh, human. You're my everything. I could never, ever let anything happen to you. My treasure. My precious. So just close your eyes. Close your eyes and dream. And when you wake up, human, you'll still be here, under my wing, safe, warm, and loved. Because you're my crown jewel, my precious, my treasure.